Welcome to my Gustinian Cash Guide. Cash you can do every single hour. However, every three hours you'll get the cash buff. Regardless, you can get the experience from any of the hour. To actually access cash, you'll need to go to an energy rift. And my choice is always Falador as it has the rift pretty much close. The ones that are circled green require one divination. Keep in mind that the north, east, and southwest require 45 divination. And then south, east, and northwest require 85 divination. Next up, upon entering, you'll get a mini games little tab. Every 5 and 10 memories or automatons you convert or subdue, you get the buff, which is double points and or immunity. And now, the cache is open, so right click, enter cache. And you might get a dialog, so just confirm it and then immediately run to any corner and you'll get the statue of crest. Depending on your divination level, you can skip the ones that you are able to do. And here, you'll be wanting to run in a giant circle. Keep in mind that other people will be here, so you might need to like free for all of it and fight for it. I always like to examine them, look at their divination level, and his is 77. So, well, I mean, I can't do enrage, so normally they'll do what I can't do. And try to focus on not the full circle, but like half. That way you share. Sometimes, well, I mean, if people are pretty dumb, which, no offense, but it'll be like five or six crests at the same time, which, honestly, I would just teleport, I mean, I would just click on the statue again to be converted back to your original form. And these tiny ones require one divination. These raw memories require 45 divination. And then this ancient or huge always requires 85. And now, ah, uh, well, that, this person's not really helping. Okay, there we go. So once you get the energy from the wall, you want to drag it to. The rift and you can surge to make it quicker oh right here these are the memories I was talking about the large memories that require 85 divination once you're able to turn into the crest immediately turn into it because, like I said, it's like a free-for-all. Whoever gets it. And then get ready. Now that you see I have 11, I activate the double points, which I will now do. You do not want to convert it when you have less than 20 seconds. Because it does not actually transfer. So if you transform, you lose that extra seconds. And then getting 20 automatons, you're able to disable all of the press spots that are nearby. And I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. Basically, you want all the cresses to be active, or as much as possible, because you do get the points for it normally. And then I'll show how I have 9 seconds. My double points will last longer than it because I go to a human form right here. So now we wait. Ooh, okay, perfect. You disable them all. Personally, I don't like this mini game as much because it's better if it's just you by yourself. 
dealing with other people is always a massive issue for me. One, two guys. Okay. Mm, okay, I guess I'll wait for them to transform. Boop, now it's my turn. And I have them all to myself. No. Well, I'm not sure. But, oh, see, like this person right here. He did not stay on his quadrant, so he's basically crashing me in a sense. And I'll just dismantle it. Oop. There you go, four extra points. Double points. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, thank goodness. As you can tell, I mean, it's fairly easy. You just have to rely on other people. This should be the last time I convert into the automaton. Double points. Once you get 100 points, that is the daily limit, well, per game. Once you have the 100 points, you can right click the rift and exit the cache. And then you'll get a nice XP drop based on your skill level. And then, luckily, this was the third hour, so after actually completing the Cash, you'll notice in my chat box I have a 10% chance when using a divine location I'll gain double loot at the cost of zero extra gathering limit. Also, have a 10% chance that sign up porters will not use a charge, and then a 10% chance to instantly convert memories at the rift. And what that means is, like right now, let's say I'm harvesting some wisp right here. How I have, let's see. I guess I'll wait until I get five wisp. So basically, when you convert, you have a chance to instantly convert all of them like that. So you can do it when your inventory is full, and it's a very nice XP drop. With that, thank you all so much for watching this Palestinian cash guide, and enjoy the rest of your day.